What's up, sports fans? How are you guys doing? We're back at it. Another, uh, we're going to work on some grass today. I got to do a little bit of palette maintenance. Mix up some colors. And we'll get into it. Just got to get a couple. Um, I think I can take all this stuff off. They're all doing well. One more day before Christmas vacation. Can you believe it? I'm ready to be done. Let's get rid of everything. I think and start fresh. What's up, Luna? What's up, Metal? The whole gang is here. Seven people. Wow. What's up, everybody? It's popping off. We're going to mix up some green, some grass colors. Get them in there. And then... Uh, We'll see how she goes, basically. We'll see how she goes. So I've tossed these out. Okay, let's uh, <clears throat> start mixing up some colors. What do we got? Let's look. Bring it around. We'll look at the uh, source image. So this is my painting so far that I've got. This is my um, reference image that I'm using. Let's do this way a little bit. I'll, I'll bring it back over. Um, I would like to do this side first. So I gotta mix up some greens and browns. Um, and then we'll bring in some more yellows. I think I'm gonna get this part done. Then I'm gonna paint her dress because these pieces of grass overlap over top. So then I think we'll put in those ones afterwards. So on my image here, we're going to be doing this, I think, today. I think we'll probably get this part done. I would like to. 
at least a, a good chunk of it and then um and then we'll worry about we'll worry about uh whatever else look how clean that is dang so what do i want first things is let's do some i like mixing the darks first so we will go with uh any more colors i need more colors let's just take this off of here this is my blue put a little bit on there mix up we want a, <clears throat> we want a decent variety in here not tons but like a, a decent variety yeah there's definitely some browns, some um, purples, browns, greens. You want to add variety in there. <clears throat> Not necessarily so much that it's distracting, but um, yeah. Let's mix up a couple. Let's mix up a couple stuff and let's see. Let's see how she goes. Let's do this. I'm kind of thinking that I want to try a little bit of this India bread in here. It's a hair more. Just a nice muted purple. Maybe this is like more of a mauve. yellow too that's kind of a nice brown it's actually kind of a gross brown but it'll work well with the painting what else do i need Definitely just greens, blues, yellows, maybe a little bit of whites for the down below. Um, so I, I have Viridian here. I don't really like using it for like a straight green so much. I'd rather mix my own greens. So we'll see how this goes. I use this Viridian in the shadows a lot more. I don't really use it straight on the uh, canvas. It's just kind of a... A little bit of a hack, honestly. This is a very muted green. That's okay. We'll use it. We'll keep it. I think I might actually make a... I'll keep half of it, and we're going to put a little bit of darker blue in there as well. Just to make up a, a darker version of it. I like my white to be on this side, my lightest colors going to darker. So that's how I'm setting my palette. I try to set up my palette for the day for what I'm going to paint. And then I brush mix, I try to get everything in there. And so what we'll do. So I already got paint on my hands. Look at that. That's terrific. We're doing well today. We're doing really good. I've got paint everywhere already. What else do I need? Hoo, hoo, hoo. Yellow ochre. My arms are still super jacked up from working out a couple days ago. So. 
I'm um, not necessarily looking to uh, marathon it tonight. <clears throat> I think we'll probably just do a solid. This is a solid crew. Maybe we'll only get part of this grass done. I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna keep going until uh, start to hit the finishing returns, basically. This stuff is better. This is like quite a step up. We can go more blue. The cobalt blue is quite a strong tinting strength. I was just going to say that. Be sure not to take too much as I took way too much. Embarrassing. The problem with just keeping on adding paint is that uh, you just have you just, you're just your paint pile gets too big, you know? This is good. What else do I need? Purples, browns. She, this might be uh, good enough to start almost. Maybe a little bit of uh, yellow. Kind of didn't want to bring too much of that cadmium yellow in there. I want to reserve the cadmiums for this side, this side of the painting, but it's really not that <clears throat> that big of a step back over there. So we'll see. There's also some more yellowy brown. So maybe if I do this and just a whisper of this red. That's a nice kind of orangey, muted orangey. I think I'll probably brush mix this with the um, greens. And what else? Maybe a little bit darker. So that means I need some more <sighs> burnt umber. Oh, we can use the paint roller thing. Umber goes fast. Raw umber. I'm sure, we'll be a little bit raw. Umber on there too. That's really close to the base color that I have on here. Okay, what else do I need? Uh, there is a couple little spots of like this orangey yellow. So maybe just like a whisper of this, a whisper. It's actually crazy how much that just tiny little bit made it way more orange. I want it to be darker, so let's go with this one. I don't know. That was probably way too dark. That was probably a mistake. Oh, a little bit more. That's probably too orange. Yep. That was a mistake. Let's get rid of that. Don't be afraid just to toss it. That was no good. You know? So what was I trying to mix? A little bit of orange. Maybe a little bit of this wrong. More yellow. Let's 
What's up, Cody? I gotta get this off my hands. <clears throat> What's up, John? Thanks for joining us, dude. Happy to have you. Did you just get recommended the channel? I'm always curious how people find their way in. It's mostly YouTube recommendations, but um, you never know. Sometimes someone will say something. But... Um, More than welcome to stay to the chart show. Scott Hebert art. So I think I want to get rid of some of these small ones. I'm going to have to do some smaller brushes on here. What I'm planning to do is uh, we're going to put in these grasses. Sorry, there was just a little bit of speck. A speck on there. We're gonna get into some of these here. These, these. Let's uh let's just let's just mix up some blues and see what happens. <sighs> There's kind of like a there's a layer there. There's another layer about here. I'd say there's another layer that just kind of touches up over here, maybe a little bit. Just trying to plan out my shapes of the grass so I can come into this and not do so much. This, this all here should be dark. This should all be dark. This whole bit should be dark. So let's just, let's just, uh, there's a train for all your train enthusiasts. And this spot we'll get into, we'll get into, uh, next time. This half. We'll uh we'll just scrub in some scrub in some blues into here. Yeah, dude, real life calls. I've got commitments, dude. I've got bills to pay. I've got retirement to save for. Can you guys see? Let me zoom in. We're pretty much just going to work over here, so maybe uh, we'll just zoom in to here. We don't really need to watch the whole painting develop. We're just going to basically watch this one section so I can... I'll get you guys framed in. It's too dark. Let's go green. So 
It's like a little. There's a there's a little ridge here. I'm just gonna take that off. Must have been a hair. Looking good already. I found your channel last week. Yeah. Nice. Well, you're more than welcome to hang out, watch the painting, watch the madness. I'm going to do bringing more darks on this side. We'll kind of we'll kind of put like a we we'll kind of do it. Uh, no, we'll get a base layer in the back of this, and then um, I don't know. We'll do something different, you know. We will. A little bit more green. Who do do? I'm very excited to be able to work on my own project soon and not have to go to work. Um, I'll have less money, but it'll be okay. I'll figure it out. I just gotta stay off Amazon. more. This could be lighter here. Big Tuna joined the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Big Tuna. Turn off the sounds. Somebody, yeah, that I know it was work. It was work. They want to, they don't you know if I need anything for tomorrow. And I said, no, I'm good, bro. It's that damn work again. One of my guys um, fell down some stairs today and hurt his ankle. So we, uh, had to make different arrangements. 
because we have like monthly stuff that we need to get done. So shit happens. I hope he's okay. I hope he's okay. Yeah, especially our whole job is driving around and then uh, walking around. Like, you know what I mean? Your whole job is with that angle, so. I don't know. I hope he's all right. I don't know how bad it is yet. They didn't, I didn't get an update yet. So when I'm coming up to this, you guys can see this faint line that I put in there. Um, I blocked that into my initial layer. So some of these lines like this, let's put one on there. So say that's going to come up above there like that. I want to, I want the sky to be poking out. So it's got to like, that's why that line's there. I Like this, I wasn't too worried about anything because it's basically solid color behind but now i need to be um conscious of layering everything on top nicely where i'm still going to be leaving some um i don't know some word that is not going to mind no some like little bits of sky behind it's got to give the illusion it's better if you just it's better if you paint in if the background like this because paint has a physical texture so it's better if you put in the background and then Put this on top and try not to paint the background on top of the grasses that you've already done or on top of the thing that's supposed to be poking through um because you can tell I don't know if I want to keep using this brush or if I want to switch to a smaller one. We might have switched to a smaller one. I'll do it. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Anybody doing anything cool for Christmas? I'm not. If I'm painting, I'm doing a live stream. Every day, baby. Maybe a little bit more green. I've got very yellowy greens on here right now. I think I might. Can you guys even see? Oh, nice. That's not too far of a drive for you. We'll start being brave. Well, that was too much. Too brave. That's too brave.
I think this will be a cool painting once it's done. I got a lot of uh, faith in this one. I think it's a nice. I don't know. I just did. I like randomly found this picture. I didn't. This was not. A, when I did the photo shoot for this, I didn't think that this was a picture that I was going to do. Like I, I don't even remember seeing it, and then I accidentally clicked on it when I was looking for images, and I was like, "Oh, that's a really cool one. I should do that one." And that was it. Sometimes I like to get up and just step back a little bit. I think we will just get a nice coat of green on here first. And then um, and then we'll worry about, we'll worry about 10 people in here. What's happening tonight? Thanks everybody for being here. I appreciate your time. It's it's uh, I, when I was doing this, like I, when I was doing the live stream every day thing, it was it was mostly for me to start doing like a, well, because I need to get like into a rhythm of painting, and um, I got a full time job, so I was kind of just putting it off, and then um, but I need to get like a collection of finished paintings together. You know what I mean? So I was just gonna do a little bit every day. And try to just get the get on the grind and like start making it happen and stuff. And so, uh, yeah, basically, I started doing this, and um, I don't know. I had some people watching already right from the beginning, and uh, there pretty much hasn't been a day where there hasn't been anyone watching. Someone's commented, I think, every time, popped in the chat, said hello, even if it was just quickly. Um, I, I thought there would be a couple days where like I had zero viewers and uh, that's pretty much hasn't happened. So uh, no, I appreciate it. It's, it's a, uh, it's neat. Bro. One K subs was like almost a month ago. Tuna fish. Thank you though. I appreciate it. The, the, a lot of my subscribers have come from my longer video, like my more published edited videos. And I have a whole bunch because I've been making paintings. So I've got all the footage for it. I just haven't had time to edit it because I've been painting every day and I have a full-time job. Um, and we've been really busy with stuff lately with lots of stuff. So um, I basically, once I get into winter here, I'll be able to edit a bunch of my videos out and put some stuff out. Um, so that's like one of the things I'm ready to do this winter. That's why I'm excited actually for for a bit of a break because then I can do it. And I, I don't know I got other stuff to do too. I got other commitments to other people that I've made. But um, no, I'm excited to be posting like more regular videos again, as well as doing the streams. Just in case you guys couldn't get enough of me. Um, an, edit, an editor will, an editor can definitely save you time, but, um, I still have to be somewhat involved with the video and make a voiceover and stuff. So right now, at least they're not going to save me a whole bunch of time. If that makes sense, the editing part of it is not the issue that I'm having right now. It's just having time to sit down and do anything. And so if I can't sit down and like assemble all the assets and all the stuff for, for the person to edit, there's not really that much point in having an editor. I'm definitely open to it, but um, I can also do that once this channel is monetized. Um, and at least there's some money flowing in, then I can do it. You know, it'll all come in good time. It will all come in good time. Okay, how's that looking? Decent. Decent, like first little layer. I definitely um think you're too polite, Tuna. Oh. 
for a look at this. Okay, I'm still seeing a little bit of the shadow of the hill in the background, so I think I need to bump up some of this stuff higher still. Bye-bye. <laughs> See ya. Hope your neck's better, bro. Or your spine. Yeah, that's better. I, I need to pump that up. Dang. This has more reds and yellows. This has some more yellows over here. We'll get into it though. Backing up just to look at it. There's a lot of there's a lot of really tall grasses in here, which will be a loo with yellows and stuff, but I just want to get like a I don't know, so I had an idea. You know? Oh, oh, we got some bluey greens, hopefully, here. That's two. Not enough. Thanks, Sue. I appreciate that. I think that will be a flip. I hope it will, that will, it's going to have to run across the whole thing of the painting. So that part better be good. You know what I mean? That's kind of. It's kind of one area I need to nail. Just about right away.
There's some bare clumps of like little grass heads and stuff in here, different colors. I quite like how the sky looks on this. Damn, we've already hit 42 minutes. Mixing the paint takes a while, dude, sometimes. needs to come up here. Let's do more blue. More yellow. Let's go back up. I think I need more green. I need to make some different kind of green. I need a more like a bluey green, I think. Maybe I'll maybe I need more. Let's see those. What does this look like? 
That's it, but that's too light, so. That's better. Took a little bit of cadmium yellow and um, cobalt blue. What's up, Ryland? Thank you, man. How does this look? No, I barely made a dent on there. Why? It's not different enough. It's not light enough. I need more yellow then. Okay, I need to make another color. seeing how this looks hopefully this is a different um let's go in the right direction Um, I don't know if you guys can, should I make this a little bit brighter? Let's see. I just want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing, you know? Sometimes when you get into the subtle, the subtleness of some things, it's um very hard to demonstrate that on camera. But then when you flip back through the whole stream afterwards, it does look better. But um, I don't know.
more green. That's looking better, way better. Some of these dark things are too dark, but we can um, mute them down a little bit. Do more. <laughs> okay, that's looking really good. I know you guys probably can't see that well, but uh, well, that's weird, eh? Look at that. It uh, might be a little hard to capture it right now on stream, but um, Let's add some little bits of orange in here, I think. See how this looks? This is gotta be sparingly. That's not that it's gotta be more than that. Gotta get more on there. Oh, we need some variety. Just a little bit of variety and like the um like it should never be all even if this is green, it should never just be all green. You should try to find as many different colors as you can in there. You gotta try to find as oh you guys can't see, I'm sorry. You gotta try to find as many different colors as you can in there. <clears throat> and get them in. That's the biggest thing that I see when people upload photos of their art is just like it's pretty flat. In terms of color usage. Not that I'm a not that I'm a wizard. I just look like one. What else do I want to do? Greens. Let's get back into some of these greens. This, I put some of blues in here earlier, then I uh, I see to dull them down. They're a little too distracting. 
this. I can go higher now, now that I know. And let's keep working this up a little bit. Whoa. What should I do? Don't want to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I'm, I'm going to, on this. I want to basically uh, still put some some of these tall pieces of grass. There's some tall pieces of grass that are going to seed that stick way up. Whole bunch from here on this plane. You're going to go up about this high. Um, but I want to get the rest of this stuff looking nice before I put them in. And there actually is also some tiny little like white dots. Should I put those in? I guess so. What's up, said Giora. What's up, dude? Thanks for popping in. What does this look like? Yeah, we'll do it. Let's go for it. Put a whole bunch of these in there. Uh, yeah, it's this can that's a good move. We'll do it. My bro. I'm doing a landscape suit, Segura. You like that? Just kidding. There's a figure. Ha! <laughs> Psych! Got him. Thanks, <laughs> Grumpy. That's funny. Pay yourself into a bad situation. That happens. That happens. I'm also surprised how often it feels like you really boned it. Like you just messed it up or whatever. And then uh, you come back the next morning and you're like, oh yeah, it's still not good. But it's not as bad as I remember. What is that? Why is that so viscous? What is this? I find it interesting. Let's do this. Where are we? I was going to say, I'm, I feel like I'm actually uh doing okay tonight with uh 
as far as the being frustrated part, I feel like it's going okay, but I don't want to uh, commit to that feeling too early before I uh, get into some stuff here. Because I got my high risk, I got my high risk pieces coming up soon that I did put on here. <coughs> oh. This needs to be more orange. A little bit more over here as well. And this needs to have a little bit more flare in here. Flare, flare, flare. Oh, that was not good. Oh, no. That was definitely not good. Why is that so white? Oh, I shouldn't have said anything about doing well. I knew it was a mistake. I got too cocky. I believed in myself too hard. It happens. You know, it's actually a funny thing that happens in like uh, in fighting. Is that like all the guys in the UFC? They all have like to get to be awesome, to get to be the best. You have to have a certain delusion that you're like uh, amazing. Basically, you're God's gift to, or like you're on a mission from God. Like all the guys that are like possessed that like think they're put there by God to um, to do the work. Um, like those guys that have that kind of belief, whether it's a belief in God or not, that's kind of a uh, irrelevant. But like the ones that believe like in something. They believe that they're like there to do something greater than themselves. Um, you have to have that delusion, but at the same time, it it makes you. Um, there's a certain weakness that also comes with that because you're not seeing reality clearly. You're not seeing it accurately, and it's like the guys that have to walk that fine line of um, being delusional enough to think you can do it or aspire to be great. I know that felt like a side tangent, but that's what I was thinking about. It's something I think about a lot because like you'll see guys in fighting say really stupid things and you're like, why would you say that? Like you're not in touch with the fan base. You're not like, it's just, it's a silly thing, dude. But it's the same, the same voice that told them that they could be great leads them off the path a little bit sometimes. But you have to have it. You have to have a team that keeps you in check is what actually you need. But that's so why I got you guys. Bring me down to earth. Okay, I think I would like to get out a my thinnest brush. My thinnest brush. A lot of guys will tell you to uh, 
use your biggest brushes and you should definitely use your biggest brushes but there's also a time and a place to use your small ones and that time is now time is now this one Dude, I read this book called The Hypomanic Edge recently. It's really good. And um, basically, there's this like there's a subset of people with type 2 bipolar disorder. And um, they're usually they're usually innovators um, because of their delusions. It's quite interesting. We talked about like a Who'd the book give examples of? Christopher Columbus. A whole bunch of guys that basically started, a whole bunch of religious guys that basically started America, uh, like that came over originally. Um, Andrew uh, Carnegie, the steel, the railroad and steel uh, mill man gate. Like he went crazy at the end. He was trying to get world peace. And then when World War One broke out, he basically went into a depression and died. Because like one of his things that he wanted was literally world peace like that's what he's working towards he gave away all his money oh andrew hamilton he's like an american uh yeah well, some of you guys are american you'll know american founder guy from saint croix he uh was crazy, dude. He was insane. Oh, I'm nervous. Let's just start small and see how it goes. The first couple strokes. Okay, I'm thinking that's too dark. So I want some more yellow in there. Small timers. Where's that? Uh, yeah, I think that's better. That's a better color. Dude, my arms are sore from working out. This is uh, this is a uh, this is more of a fine motor skills thing that I, I just don't have today. But we're gonna go for it anyways, and it could go bad. Ah, uh, it's part of it. What's up, Marcus? Did you work out today? Huh? Dang, we got the whole uh the whole cinematic universe here right now. What's up everybody? What's up Terrence? So can I have a couple little bigger ones, but we don't want to go mess. Yeah, you missed tuna. Tuna. I don't know. Had to go study or something. Do you clean the brushes every night or just keep them in linseed oil or something? Um, I put them in oil. I put them in cheapest oil that I can find and then I uh, 
wash them off and then i um like i take the paint off of them i put them into a jar i'll show you my jar disgusting mason jar um there's no oil in it right now but i fill it with oil <clears throat> and then i put them in there and then um i either clean them out and then use them the next day or i clean them out and then they go back into this because i'm painting every day so i don't need to do a full scrub of them um But honestly, if if you if you need to, I'm not the brush maintenance guy, dude. I'm a uh, I'm too I'm too uh I'm hard I'm hard on stuff. I'm not I'm not good for uh yeah I'm the wrong guy to ask for that type of shit. Like I don't even want to get nicer, more expensive brushes because I know I'm not going to clean them and treat them nicely. I'd rather just keep getting cheapo brushes. I am <laughs> I'm chaos. That's uh, so true. Yeah, maybe I'll get one of those. So I think actually what I want to do is, well, we'll put some more here, but we'll sort out a variety of colors in here now. So I don't want these to be all the exact same. I don't know what that means, Terrence. I'm not, I'm not a learned scholar like you. Tester says he never throws a brush away. Uh, Boss Rutten just loaded up a video, CrossFit and MMA, A Marriage Made in Heaven. That's so funny. Um Yeah, it uh it is. It's a it's very it's a very similar. That's why I like doing it, because it's already stuff that I should be good at. Or I should be my body should be capable of doing it if once I get back in shape. It's a very similar um, cardio base. The same type of body structure does well in them. I don't need to talk about CrossFit. I've been in two glasses, so I'm pretty much a wizard now. Oh, that was a little thick. Damn. Fuck. I don't know. I'm already not feeling good. I still feel sore from whatever one Monday's workout. I'm going to do some yoga at home. You guys are savages. She's never said that to me. I do think it's really funny. The, uh, there's the variation between what the paintings are like and the chat. I'm not encouraging it. I'm just saying, I think it's funny.
No, this is good. Needs more over here. When I look at that part of the painting, I want to get my lawnmower. <laughs> I'll paint Marcus. Marcus, you're gonna see, you can be right over here with the lawnmower, ready to go. That's actually what the girl's looking over at, is you. What you rocking with today? On the uh, on the tunes, you mean? Nothing. Right now. Someone told me about this hippie artist girl from um, Quinnell. I'll send you it. And I was listening to that, but then I turned it off and um, I stopped listening. I'll send it to you on Discord. See you, Grumpy. <laughs> I won't tell her that. Damn, I think we've had just about 10 people the whole time. We've, I think it dropped down to maybe six or something. So that's, I think my streaming service thing is um, doesn't have an accurate view on the viewers, but that's pretty cool for painting some grass. What can I say? My, my people like grass. Crazy algorithm. Finally, seven hundred videos, <laughs> seven hundred videos, two channels, and I'm finally getting blessed by the algorithm gods. It's just luck.
I don't like this one. I don't like this one thing. I don't know if I should, I'm going to wreck this by trying to get this off of here. See you, Terrence. Thanks for popping in, dude. Terrence can't stay long anymore because he has a girlfriend, so. Thanks for the laughs. Don't encourage him. No, I'm just kidding. Terrence doesn't have time for us anymore. That's way better. Or did I just put that Q-tip thing? What's over here? I think I'll do a little bit. I, I, this is a little bit too dark, I think. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll make it less lonely is, is the answer, I think. Don't want to do. Put a happy little read right here. Let me back up. I think this is um, really nice. Yeah, quite good. Very subtle. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, really good. There's a... Uh... Thank you, Sue. Like the variation of green. That's because there's lots of different colors. There's not just green. That's the trick. That's the trick, dudes. That's your hack of the day. You got to not put, you got to not, there's so many colors in here. I wish you guys could see a little bit better. This is all yellow. There's some oranges, purples, blues, and of course some greens, but there's actually not that much greens. So now I'll put in some more browns into here now. Just to break up any big shapes. Trickster of the eyes, that's right. I'm the trickster god. I am chaos. I'm just stepping back now. It looks really good from far away. 
These are really nice and subtle in there. That's pretty much exactly how I wanted it, I guess. I don't actually know how I wanted it, but um, I was just kind of doing it. Let's back up so you guys can see better. The illusion. Painting is an illusion. Definitely going in the right direction. Okay, do I want to keep going? What do you guys think? Uh, do I want to keep going? Yeah, I use gambling. Gambling. Just block in some more greens before you stop. That's not how it works, dude. If I keep going, I just keep going. What time is it? 8.29? Uh, okay, Let's, we'll just keep mucking about a little bit. Paint a UFO. My God, Marcus, you're a madman. Maybe one day. I'm not that fast. It'd be so slow. Paint Marcus on a UFO cutting grass. The problem with painting is due on April 1st one night. Okay, maybe. We'll talk about it. The problem with painting Marcus right now is I'm ready to be like, you messed up half his face. And I would say, no, dude, it just looks like that. Huh? Risky joke of the night? My jaw's all crooked, so um, if anybody painted me, you'd be like, dude, you painted his face crooked. And they'd be like, no, that's how he looks. <sighs> I, said it, I said it meanly, but with love. Doesn't mean... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, I fell when I was a kid. I fell like over a, the flight of stairs, like over the banister and I smashed my jaw and then it just grew in crooked. They took like so many x-rays at the hospital and nothing was broken, but like fucking grew in sideways. So, uh, I'm, I'm thinking that they're wrong basically is what I think happened. Socialized healthcare. That's what you think. <laughs> So you say you can't keep a straight face. That's kind of funny. Yeah, 
Yeah, I like shattered. I shattered like fourteen, um, fourteen uh, of my teeth, and like nine of them were molars. I had to like, I had to go to the dentist. Like all, I hate going to the dentist because I had to go to the dentist so fucking much, dude. I had, to, I had to have crowns on like lots of my teeth to hold them to hold all the pieces together. It's all fucked up, dude. Yeah. Traumatizing. Imagine having a beautiful baby boy and then he just comes out all fuckered. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was like grade four, I think. Dude, and you know what I hated? No, I was sliding down the rail and I fucking fell over. That's what happened. And I like, I fell on my tummy and then I smashed my teeth. Boom. Like that. Boom. So I haven't slid down any banisters in a long time. Stop doing that. Kids are stupid. Damn, bro. Does he have fake teeth? Or did he just rock it with no... Nice. People with um, people with facial dysphoria or something like that, I think that's what it's called, are like way more likely to become creative people. I've seen a thing on it one time. It's like way higher likelihood of becoming a creative individual. Interesting.
You guys should have told me I should have zoomed you in. You can barely see. Let's do more blue. This needs to be darker. Oh, Sue's coming in with a right hook to Marcus's plans. She's got a very good point that we'll get clogged up. Also on this hill, Marcus, well, are you talking about a push mower or a ride on the mower? i got a big enough lawn that we have a ride on the mower. So, um, yeah, dude, if you're using a push mower, good luck, bro. That's what I'm going to say, I think. You have to cut it really high and then go in with a couple more passes. Commercial zero turn skag. Damn, bruh. He is Hank Hill. Oh, propane and propane accessories. Oh. I love mowing the lawn. <clears throat> Actually, I did it for too long. I don't like it. You're right. You're right. What was I talking about? I don't like doing anything. I hate working. Yuck.
Yeah, ours is like that too. Our summertime is like that. Actually, spring spring here is the worst. Spring here, everything just like pops up like real hard. And um, yeah, it's crazy. Okay, I've got to mix up some more some more colors. I need a much brighter. Bro, you got to go hunting. You have white tail deer there? Yeah, you do. East Coast boy. So, uh, no, spring's not three months away for us. Like, our spring is later. What I would consider spring. Technically, you're right, but we're higher. So, it's just stuff doesn't start popping up here till like uh, May. Yeah, you're you're so much further south than me, dude. And that East Coast has such a different climate. We have so many mountains; we're pretty protected from like uh, the cold. But it's uh, way different. Our climate's pretty ideal. No, actually, it could be a little bit warmer. I think probably what, or Oregon might have the best blend. Like the coast of Oregon, I think, probably has the best blend. I think it's probably a little bit warmer. Not quite as wintry. Like, you're not into deep winter there, but nice hot summers. Where is five big bags?
This needs to go up more. I need more. I think pretty good. You guys want to Dang, we're doing it. Tell you what, I didn't think I was going to do two hours tonight. And I also didn't really think that it would go this well, but it is. Um, yeah, if you get in flow, you definitely, uh, <clears throat> it definitely can seem timeless for sure. I think that, um, like that with you guys here, just popping up in the chat and different people saying hi and stuff. It just, I just like get engaged and then re-engaged a lot. You know what I mean? Like I'll do some grasses and then I'm like, okay, I need some more reds in here. And then I'll be like, look at the chat and someone will say something. So I think it actually helps quite a bit with the, uh, with the pacing. I need you chat. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't leave me. <laughs> no, it, uh, it helps. It, it helps a lot. 
on the days when there's no one watching, it definitely um I just feel slower sometimes. Like I'm just watching that clock for that hour to come up so I can quit, you know? Hey, Tuna, what's up? You just missed Terrence. That's so funny. And he asked about you. You guys can just leave each other notes to me and I'll relay it to the next guy when he comes back up. See, Marcus. Marcus, you made me paint all this extra grass and you're leaving me, bro. You're leaving me. But after I just made a plea to not leave me, <laughs> heartbreaking. Have fun. I probably work out tomorrow. Is your back getting better, Tuna? Or is it same, same? I said, is your back getting better or your spine? Yeah, your spine. Is your spine getting better? Hands around the chat. Ugh. Oh, bro. That sucks, man. There's a black circle, like a bruise. That's not good.
I think we're uh, coming up on the end of this. I'm kind of running out of things to do today. I want to let this set up before I come back over top of here with some browns on the bottom. But I really want these next ones to pop off a lot more than like um, what's currently on there. So I think that's going to require a little bit of wait, oh, a wait time. Let's do a little bit of white. Let's see. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I think it looks good. I think that's about as far as I'm going to take it today. everybody thanks for being here see you riley see you tuna see you uh, metal see you sue i don't know who's left um peace